Okay. Hello, hello, hello. As I'm sure you all know, there's been plenty of powerful units that have come out in Dokkan that once they fulfill some certain condition, they just basically instantly win you the fight. Today we'll be going over 10 such times where a unit basically single-handedly wins you a fight. For the purposes of this video, we're also going to be ignoring restrictions because that's not as fun. Of course, as always, I mean, duh, these lists are carefully calculated through an intense algorithm. And without further ado, <laughs> let's get on with the list. Now, coming in at number 10, we have LR Tech Zamasu, the 2023 Worldwide Download Celebration Unit. Now, Tech Zamasu, when he came out, he was very good, right? Obviously, pretty good leader skill. Um, you know, powerful, super attack effects. You know, he's got 80% damage reduction, turn one. And he's just, he's cooking, wheeling and dealing, doing good damage, all the like, right? But, you know, he's got his active skill, which, you know, he pops his domain, gives all his allies three key, and then, you know, I just said I was going to stop doing that. Anyways, he becomes Infinite Zamasu. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the condition is pretty terrible, but hey, we do not care about that. Zamasu had the first domain in the game, and once Zamasu goes into his domain, he quite literally cannot take damage. Yep, he's just impervious to all damage. Every single attack that's aimed at him just becomes nothing. Uh, his damage in this form isn't bad, right? It's solid. He creates his own words, um, which is unfortunate, really, um, because if he gave himself 300% attack and defense as well, he could get some really good healing out of these orbs, but... You know, it is what it is. You can't have everything in life. Obviously, you know, Zamasu bit good links, right? And he still got links. It's not like a giant former. It's just impervious. Like, it's just a bunch of Zamasu. You no, know, it's like it becomes a different unit, which is very cool. Um, I really do like where they went with that. Overall, I mean, Zamasu, you just can't take damage, right? Uh, it's, it's kind of one of the weaker instant wins, I'm not gonna lie. I mainly just, you know, he's on here because I like him and I haven't talked about him. I like is gonna come in at number 10. Let's move on to numero nueve. Now, coming in at number 9, we're just gonna make this quick. It's, it's, uh, it's Orange Piccolo, man. Like, what do you want me to say, Orange Piccolo? Whoa, he's got a giant form. whoop de doo man. He's giant form, he can't take damage. He does damage. Disables the enemy actions, they can't heal, they can't super attack, they can't stun you, they can't lock you, they can't use all their abilities. whoop de doo I feel like I've had to talk about Orange Piccolo so much, it's, it is what it is, man. But you know, you can't make a list like this without getting him on here. He is, he was so broken for like a year straight, right? And now that he's finally, you know, fallen off, we can safely say, right? Like, he's still solid, but you know, he's nowhere near what he once was. Uh, we can respect Orange Piccolo for being, like the best unit for so long. I mean, he might- was he the best unit in the game for the longest amount of time in Dokkan history? Hmm. That's a good- that's a good list to consider. But yeah, Orange Piccolo, Giant Form, he's gonna come in at number 9. Moving on to number 8. Now, coming in at number 8, we have two units, and the first one is LR STR Super Vegito, and then, of course, the new LR Tech Super Gogeta, which, I mean, they essentially do very similar things, right? Um, they come out in base, and they're, you know, they're solid for their time periods, right? Pre-EZA, they were both solid. Post-EZA, they were both solid for their time, but it's that turn four transformation, baby, that they just become different. For Super Vegito, it's turn 4, 77% or less. For Super Gogeta, it's turn 4, 70% or more. And, you know, it just gets real. Now, I mean, for Super Vegito, he just becomes one of the strongest offensive units in this game's history. He fully recovers your HP, which is just uh, amazing. Post-EZA, he gets guard. He doesn't have a pre-EZA for three turns. He also gets 60% uh, damage reduction. It's not technically 60% damage reduction because normal attack damage reduction and regular damage reduction is actually multiplicative, not additive, but whatever. For the sake of simplicity, we'll say 60% damage reduction post-EZA. And then he's got his counters, which are just stupid, man. Like, the counters for his time, man. They did ridiculous damage. And then, of course, the best thing about him, he's got the super attack scouter, which is just broken. Ten turns! Ten turns! That's literally, like, longest fights in the game's history. But maybe the movie Boss Rush Red Zone? I, I don't know other than that. Cause this guy came out, what, 2020? So that's OG Legendary Goku event. Uh, that was fodder. Nah, no way that took 14 turns. GT LGE didn't take that long. 
I don't remember any of the infinite Dragon Ball histories. Maybe the future saga one? That's about it though. I mean, yeah, that's Super Vegeta. And then obviously you got Super Gogeta, who's just right now just the best unit in the game because of everything he does, right? He fully recovers you because you have to be above 70% HP. So he hopefully heals you basically. He does guarantee crits. He's got 80% damage reduction with a rainbow orb. And he's got five turns of super attack scouter, which I mean, most of the fights, once this pops, the game, the fight is over. Most events, right? Like Boma, LR Goku and Frieza, the fight's over. And then of course, you know, he's also a card with a rainbow key sphere. And not only that, no, 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 not only that, he's also for some reason just got a 50% chance to just evade enemy super attacks, which is just like, what? Like they got it, man. Like he's bustedly broken. Like it's stupid how dominant he is. Like bro, really is just the, the number one unit in the game, and it's yeah. that's gonna be S T R Super Vegeta and Tech Super Gogeta though. Tech Super Gogeta still is the best OST in the game. Fight me, argue with a wall. They're gonna come in at number eight. Moving on to number seven. Now coming in at number seven, it's the Blue Fusions, specifically on their active skill turn. Which back when they first came out, like the heat of their prime, right against the OG Legendary Goku event. Yeah, nothing, nothing could stop them, man. Like they were, ugh. nah, nah. The fight was over. You pop these guys' active skills and turn. I mean, slot three. Like the fight is just, it's cooked. None of the really big fights canceled dodge yet. Well, actually, Legendary Goku event did, but it didn't matter. Because they just one-shot him with the active skill anyway. But, I mean, that turn where you just had them at their full potential, where they just had the, the dodge chance, and they were building up, and they were, the damage was just ridiculous, and then the, 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 the everything, man. Like, I just, I am here to remind the Dokkan community of how dominant the Prime Blue Fusions were. Where were you for the Prime Blue Fusions, huh? Where were you? Because I was here, and I was playing. And I loved it. Obviously, you know, now that they got their easy A's, they also get a guaranteed dodge uh, turn, which is just, you know, very good. Very, very good. My love, the Blue Fusions. They're going to come in at number seven. Let's move on to number six. Now, I'm not going to lie. This might be recency bias, but coming in at number six, we have LR Tech, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Now, this guy, when he pops his active skill, like he, prior to easy A, ew, he still did a crazy ton of damage right with the 48 percent 24 key but like post easy a i've literally seen like this turn i've seen zero phases losses survive it especially you got the super easy a str broly on rotation and you get lots of support for him bro bro he's 70 million attack stat easy it's gg it's raps like he's he's the fight is over he's got it on lock honestly it's really ludicrous like how stupid that active skill turn really is and it, it's not like he's a one-trick pony he's good outside the active skill turn too like he's a very runnable very good unit top 10 in the game top 15 ish right now maybe top 20 but yeah i mean very simple right uh, broly big damage big pp damage e equal good wow wow he's out <laughs> he's gonna be good enough for number six let's move on to number five now coming in at number five it's a unit that i've never really particularly like od glazed but it's blue kaioken goku now, for one the animations are great and i think it had come out the previous christmas so everyone was like ugh already the damage that the guy did with the spirit ball and the hardest fight in the game og legendary goku event he, you stacked up his attack with his active skill, bro. 50% stack. He one-shots every, like, long event in the game. Right. And not only that, you take him into Super Battle Road. And if you can get under that 59% HP, like, you can, like, repeatedly, like, get this in every fight. The fights are over. He just he does too much. And then he's got all his allies getting the 30% support. You got units like STR UI Goku out here getting support. Yeah, like, these fights are just, they're over, right? gg and then you can just chain this like the the og universal survival saga category you got to this guy carried i mean he dunked on that stage now the only reason he's not any higher is because he is a he was basically always a glass cannon right like when he first came out he was solid defensively but like a couple months he, he was bad he, he was bad when he got his easy a2 he, he, he was very good too right they gave him guard gave him some defense on super attack effect well, I'm giving him some minor things. Could have made him better and, you know, really let him cook, right? Greatly stacking. Oh my goodness, bro. They gave him greatly stacking attack and defense. I would not. Yeah, that's going to be Blue Kyle and Goku. He's going to come in at number five. Let's move on to number four. Well, coming in at number four, it's a unit that's very similar to Blue Kyle and Goku. It's the GT Duo. Um, eighth year anniversary, right? Um, 
Now, what made these guys just stupidly broken, right? First of all, their super attack effects, they stack attack on 18 key, greatly stack attack, right? So they're stacking attack, they're doing a lot of damage, they have a guaranteed additional super attack at 24 key, uh, was 70% chance to launch another one at 18 key or more, and then they have their standby skill, which the restriction on this is just amazing, right? 50% or less, or fourth turn after character receives four or more attacks in battle. I'm not gonna lie, you never really get that one. It's mainly this 50% or less, and their standby skill, what does it do? It turns you into Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta, right? GT Vegeta, which is super attack effect is cracked. Raises all allies attack by 40% for the turn. He gives all allies 8 key and 80% attack for the turn. And then, you know, once Vegeta's done amping your allies through the roof, right? And they do all their damage. And he's doing lots of damage himself because he does really good damage for his time. He also, you know, with his no defense, he revives. Fully 100% revive, by the way. Doesn't matter what ally dies. And then they launch the, the super ultra, mega, super powerful speaker bomb. And this thing, for the time, this thing does just ridiculous amounts of damage. Like, I mean, OD amounts of damage. Especially in conjunction with them stacking in base. Like, you, you dropped a nuke and then you came back with full HP, ready to just beat the boss's ass, bro. Like, like, I'm not gonna lie, they really, Dokkan really cooked with this one. Like, this is a really good unit. They dominated for a long time. One of the best units to dominate, like, their, you know, their year. And then not only that, right? Their leader skill, Power of Wishes. Guess who came out, of, you know, a couple months after? Uh, maybe not a couple months. I think it was, like, halfway through the year. I think she released in May. Bulma came out. Yeah, it was May because it was with, um, Golden Week. Bulma came out. And Bulma made them even better. And they dominated, like, every fight in the entire game and they had the best team in the game they had the best units in the game they had everything this revive this dropping a nuke into a revive with 100 re recovery like that's that's so stupid and broken like that's it's dumb like that's dumb they're gonna come in at number four let's move on to number three now coming in at number three it's str carnival gohan now you know carnival gohan is probably just the best offensive unit in the entire game maybe i mean i think it's that's a very good argument this guy he does so much damage in base it starts off like only solid and then it, it, he just once he builds up his passive and then he's getting his 77 percent from launching the super attacks like he just damage just gets ridiculous to the point where his 12 keys are doing more than his 18 keys and it's just wow right and he's you know he's got good design at base right he's got guard if you're under 77%, uh, you get the dodge. But of course, you no, know, he's got his broken standby skill. They really do love just making these broken standbys. Now, once he standbys, he goes, you know, his standby form in which, you know, he can't attack, but he's got 77% damage reduction with full superclass allies, which you're gonna run. And then he's got, also got guard. And he's got 50% defense per key sphere. And um, basically, once you once you pop his uh, you know the the standby right, the damage go the crazy. Basically, I mean, especially with dupes, bro, you can one shot like any any phase, right? Like you can go into LR Goku and Frieza or the STR Goku and Frieza one shot, Bulma one shot, and yeah, I mean, you can quite literally just kill the enemy before they kill you. It's also like a jaw dropping animation. I mean, they really got it, man. Like. Dokkan, dude. This is a stupid, dumb unit. Easily gonna come in at number three. Well, let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two might be a surprise, but it's the year three fusions. Now, for a long time, it was nigh impossible to fuse with these guys, right? I mean, their their condition sucked, but it was a six turns, 50% or less, right? And these fights, we didn't have a Legendary Goku event yet. We didn't have all these long fights, you know, it was just super battle rip, right? Um, obviously, throw out their ECAs. Their ECAs sucked. Like, they were only okay on release, and they sucked shortly after. But, I mean, if you throw out the condition, six turns, 50% or less, once they fused, they were so good. Like, I mean, they were ridiculously good. Super Vegito was rivaling... SGR Super Vegito, who released three years after him. Like, they're doing similar amounts of damage. Super Vegito came out three years earlier than Super Vegito, right? Like, that's that just goes to show you, like, how 
stupid. They, they really made these guys, right? If you could, you know, somehow fuse with these guys and like maybe one of the categories you would rather read, the fight's over, right? It's just, you know, what held them back for so long is that the fusion condition is just so terrible. In fights that you could go past turn six, you weren't really taking damage and vice versa. Once the legendary Goku event came out, they really got a chance to really shine and just look very, very impressive. And yeah, I mean, they come out and the fight's just over. GG for the enemy. I mean, these are some of the best aging units in the game's history. I've never been that crazy for these guys. I mean, I started playing around when they came out. They're good, right? I don't really go crazy for them. I go crazy for like the animations and everything, but they were very, very good for a very long time. They're going to come in at number two. Let's move on to number one. Now, at number one, you might be wondering, like, oh, we've gone through every, like, super really good unit, right? Unless, you know, the algorithm forgot any. Could possibly be over the fusions, you know, SDR kind of a go on, Blue Cow can Goku, the GT Duo, like, all these super powerful units. And it's, you know, it's maybe, or maybe the algorithm is cheating a little bit, but it's, it's Devil Man. He one-shots, right? I mean, quite literally, instant win. Every single fight, uh, you know, the, what is it, 1% chance or something? Or something crazy? But hey, he, he, he can, he can insta-kill. Now, I think he's banned in EZAs. And I'm, I'm not sure if he, I think he's banned in some of the super harder content, right? Like, he might have been banned in the God event back in the day. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, Devil Man, one shot. Um, I'm not gonna really, I mean, there's not really anything else to explain. He just does a lot of damage if you can reroll. That's gonna be Devil Man. He's gonna come in at number one. Now let me know what you thought of my list, whether you thought it was perfect, as the algorithm would have it so. If you thought anybody was snubbed, or if you think that the order should have been different, but of course, just know that if you disagree with me and the algorithm, you are wrong. But of course, of course, of course, of course, as always, thanks for stopping by.